editor, can you please say and spell your full name and your title? Uh, my name is Kevin Collins. That's uh, the full name is uh, K E V I N C O L L I N S, and I am the treasurer of Washington Township Rugby Club. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. So, Kevin, how did the idea for youth rugby come? about here in Washington Township? Uh, the idea of youth rugby for Washington Township came about. Um, there was a member that is currently on the team. He's on the U19 team uh, who was playing flag rugby in uh, Marlton. Uh, they had a program there some time back. And the parent um, decided to say, he said, why, why am I driving to Marlton all the time? I'll just start it here. So he along with myself and a couple others, um, uh, reached out to uh, New Jersey Rugby and got a, all the information that we needed to start the group and, and took it to the Washington Township Parks and Recs. Uh, the whole process of becoming a club team took about, uh, about 18 months from start to finish. And then uh, after that, it's been about four years since we, we started. So talk a little bit about the ages of the players, the gender of the players, and when can you start playing rugby? Uh, so uh, the uh, rugby is for boys and girls. Uh, the ages are 6 to uh, 19, or U19, so high school. Um, the flag program that we have, which is rookie called Rookie Rugby, uh, is from 6 to 12. Uh, it's co-ed. Um, and uh, typically what occurs is we group the players by skill, uh, uh, and then if there's enough of them, then we'll play in-house. Uh, but then we also have uh, New, uh, New Jersey Rugby has a team in, in Cherry Hill, and there's teams in Delaware that will go and will play uh, flag football, or flag Can you do scratch. That last part? Yeah, we'll go and we'll play uh, flag rugby with uh, teams in Delaware and teams in, in uh, Pennsylvania and Cherry Hill. So you said both boys and girls can play, and the league was established about four years ago? For us, yes. Why is there a need for this type of sports? I mean, there's so many other sports in the school. Well, uh, it's, it's not a very well-known fact, but rugby is one of the large, uh, fastest growing youth sports uh, in, in uh, America right now. Um, a lot of that has to do with the camaraderie that comes along with uh, rugby. It's a very community-based uh, uh, sport. Um, the, it's, it's really a family. Uh, the home team typically will feed the opposing team after the games. Everybody comes together and eats. Um, it's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And, um, and not only, if you think about it, uh, there's about roughly 29,000 uh, youth rugby players in the United States, and there's 32,000 collegiate rugby players. So as opposed to baseball or football or soccer or lacrosse, if you played rugby in high school, you can definitely play in college. Okay, that's good. They give out scholarships? Maybe? Yes, there's definitely scholarships. Uh, Rowan is giving preferential treatment for rugby players now, and you can get uh, scholarships. Good to know. Okay, now, um, long story short, talk about the rules. How many are on the team? What is the goal, and what are some of the rules in the foul? So the, the rookie rugby is seven on seven, typically. Um, but you can adjust based on how many kids are on the field. Uh, the U12, or U12 tackle team uh, is typically anywhere from eight to 11 kids. And that's uh, the U12 is both boys and girls tackle. Um, they play on the same field. Uh, a lot, of, most of, <laughs> some of our best best U12 players are the girls. Uh, they, they, they really um, pack a punch sometimes. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're really excited about our, our girls program. Um, so they do shift between seven and 10 players on the U12. Uh, the U15 uh, is uh, between 11 and 13 players. And then once you get to U19, which is the high school level, it's 15 versus 15. So how do you score? Uh, it's, it's a lot like football, where uh, when you cross the end line, uh, you, you get a try. But instead of in football, where you just the ball crosses the line, you physically have to touch the ball to the ground in order to get a try. 
Um, if you run over the line and then throw the ball out of your hand, then it doesn't count. Um, so uh, the, the, you can get five points for a try and then you kick two extra points. Uh, or if you kick from the field, you can get three points for, for a, um, a field goal. A try is the same as a touchdown, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, what are some of the uh, fouls? Uh, fouls, if uh, the ball, if you knock the ball forward, uh, the, a big thing about uh, rugby is you can only play the ball backwards. Um, so it's got to be a pitch, it can't go forward. If you throw the ball backwards and then somebody catch, tr goes to catch the ball and knocks it forward and hits the ground, that's a, that's a knock on. So it, it's, it goes to the other team. Um, unlike in football, where if you go out of bounds, you retain possession. In rugby, if you go out of bounds, the other team gets possession. So um, there's no downs as far as you only have a certain amount of time to, or a certain amount of plays to uh, get a, a, a score, to score. Um, it's, um, if you retain possession, you can score, you get the ball back, they kick to you, you can score again. You can keep the ball the entire time, entire the entire game, which is unlike American football. And so this sport started in England, is that right? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, talk about how this league encourages sportsmanship and other important qualities that an athlete should have. Uh, this sport really, really does um, bring the sportsmanship out of players. Um, in rugby, you're not, you're not allowed to be discouraging on the field. You're not allowed to yell at the other team. Uh, I know that other sports, you're not allowed to do those things either, and so it kind of goes under the, you know, go, gets swept under the rug. It's not like that in rugby. If the ref hears you, uh, you can get thrown out of the game. You can get penalized for your team. Um, and if there's a... Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, and uh, for when you're talking to the ref, the only two players on the field that can talk to the ref are the two captains. Even the coaches are not allowed to talk to the refs. So if the coach wants to say something to the referee, he has to say it to his captain. The captain ha then has to take, take it to the ref. Um, it's, it, in rugby, you need to know that the person next to you is going to be doing his or her job. Uh, and that kind of uh, trust in a player or in a group of players really goes a long way to building team, teamwork, to building uh, uh, sportsmanship, and um, the fact that at the end of the day, everybody comes together and, and you all sit and talk and eat. Uh, regardless of what happened on the field, it really builds a community spirit uh, for rugby. Okay. So getting back to, they're allowed to tackle each other and they don't have shoulder pads on? What's the equipment? Yeah, so uh, for the equipment, uh, for rugby, you need um, uh, cleats <laughs> and you need um, mouthpiece, and that's it. Uh, they don't require any other uh, pads. Uh, you obviously can wear a soft helmet, uh, like the old football helmets. Uh, a lot of people have them for um, flag football. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a, a padded helmet. A lot of kids are wearing that nowadays. It's not a bad idea. Head injuries are always uh, uh, at the top of everybody's mind. Uh, it's the reason that for any game that we have, that we play against another team, we're mandated that we have to have a trainer on the premises in order to play a game you have to have the trainer there, um, which is good because they get a lot of work. You know, uh, the, the big difference between uh, football and rugby is that when you're tackling in rugby, you can't you can't come up above a certain um, a certain height. If you do, you automatically automatically get thrown out of the game. Um, so uh, what what happens is the um, the the Tackles are always lower, so you do get a lot of lower injuries, but um, it, you, you try and stay away from tackling too high. So that's... How does the game begin? Uh, the game begins with, uh, rugby begins with a kickoff. Uh, 
the um, the ball is live. So uh, if the if the team that's kicking off uh, gets down to the field and catches the ball first, it's their ball. Um, so the uh, the big thing about um, about rugby is that the ball is always live. Uh, as if if you can reach over and you're on your two feet, you can reach over and grab the ball, then that's your ball. Like so, then then and the ball is the line of scrimmage. So the offense is all the offense is behind and all the defense is on the other side of the ball. It just follows the ball up and down the field. That's the line of scrimmage for it. How long is the game? Um, it, it varies, obviously, with the littler ki- with the smaller kids, the, the 12 year old uh, teams and the 15 year old teams. They play about um, 15 to uh, 20 minute halves. Uh, the high school teams are uh, 35 minute halves. And I think a professional game is actually 80 minutes. So two 40 minute halves are so. But it's constant. There's, uh, they say that the downtime in um, in a football game is about 45 percent of the or 55 percent of the time. That is nowhere near how much downtime there is in rugby. So, do you feel like the students are now choosing rugby over soccer and other sports? And if so, why? <laughs> well, um, I wouldn't go as far as to say that rugby is uh, stealing. Uh, players from other sports, not yet, maybe. It's a brand new. This is only our fourth year. Um, rugby has been in South Jersey for a long time and in, in North Jersey even more so. Uh, but um, it's now more of a, a secondary sport. A lot of our players play other sports. They'll play lacrosse, they'll play baseball, and they'll, they'll come here. Uh, what we've been noticing, though, is uh, the first year that they play rugby, they they're playing part rugby and part baseball or, or lacrosse, and the next year they're just playing rugby. <laughs> so you don't steal. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> what does it take to be successful in rugby as a player? Determination is is uh, is the key. You you have to uh, be willing to you have to be willing to get your get in there and get the ball. You have to be willing to get hit. You have to get, be willing to run down the field. Um, there's a lot of side, like uh, east-west movement in soccer and lacrosse and and you know football, but in rugby it's north north south. You got to run straight. It's it's the most important thing. Once you get the ball, to st- you run run straight to the uh, to the end line, to the try line. And if you want to pass it, let's go back. Right? Yeah, pass is back. You can kick forward, but. That's, uh, that's a little bit more advanced than uh, some of the, uh, obviously with the different ages, there's a little, they step up in advancement at first okay, roles. A few more questions. Sure. Um, team sports in general, how does it train a person to be a good team player in life or at work later on? Um, rugby is uh, an amazing uh, teacher of uh, how to be a team player. The, the key for rugby is um, that even though you might not see the person to your right or your left at the time that you're making your play, you trust that they're there. You trust that they're there backing you up or they're there to protect you. Um, the, the idea that, um, that the, the idea of trust and, and, and the work that they put in and what they do for each other uh, really, really b- builds team spirit and builds teamwork. Uh, yeah, sure. So we have um, we have a group of uh, uh, core coaches. Uh, our head coach, uh, Kirk Gruber, uh, started the Rowan program. He um, he took that team to a, a few. I don't know. I, I I won't say how many. But he uh, he's a championship coach. Um, he's he's been in rugby since he was in college. I won't tell how long that was either because he'd probably kill me. Uh, but Kurt is, is as close as they come to a professional, uh, uh, retired professional rugby player as the United States has. Um, uh, Pat Richards uh, is, is another one of our coaches. He uh, is a retired uh, New York uh, City detective. Uh, he's played rugby his entire life, and um, he's, he's come down here to help out uh, with our forwards. Um, you know, and then we have groups of parents that join uh, as well to, to help coach. 
Uh, it's it again. It's a team. It's a team sport. And it's a community sport. So um, and it's a new sport here in Washington Township. So we uh, we definitely uh, uh, take whatever um, help we can get from whoever's willing to give it. Okay. Um, I guess that's all. Okay. Um, what about just one more thing about your son? Um, you Charlie. Yeah. Talk, talk about him. Oh, Charlie's great. He's uh, my guy. son. My son Charlie is, uh, he's 12 years old, he's on the, uh, the youth team. Uh, he's, this is his, uh, gonna be his third year uh, playing this year and um, we're looking forward to uh, him really coming out of his, egg, out of his shell. Uh, he's, he's determined, he loves the sport. Um, it's funny, he hits harder in rugby than he does in football, even though he has pads on during football. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're really uh, proud of him. We're, we're, we're looking forward to this season with him. Did we find out, like, scoring or anything? Like yeah, do you want me to review scoring uh, a little bit? Uh, so, um, the team... Yeah. <laughs> the team, uh, for rugby, the scoring... Um, the, the primary scoring is a try. That's five points. It's when the team with the ball goes over the end line and touches the ball down to the ground. Um, if you score, you then have the opportunity to get two extra points in a field goal. You have to kick that field goal from wherever the ball was placed on the ground. So if you're all the way on the end line and you put the ball down, that's where you have to kick from 22 yards out. If you're right in the center, then you just have to kick it straight up through the center. Um, and then obviously there's there's, if you feel like you can do a drop kick and get the ball into the, in, in between the uprights, you can do that at any time when you're running with the ball. Uh, so that's, that, that would be three points. Um, that typically doesn't happen in the youth programs be, just because it's very difficult to do a, a drop kick. <laughs> um, and then with scoring, if you score the ball, you get the ball back. So it's possible that um, you could score, get the ball back and score continuously for the rest of the game, the other team doesn't ever get the ball. That very rarely happens, but it's, it's possible. And one more, how long is the field? Is it 100 yards? 100 yards, yeah. It's, it's uh, 100 meters, uh, which, you know, is basically, they play it on football fields, they play it on soccer fields. Um, the, our field has uprights. They're a little bit uh, less wide uh, from football uprights, but uh, they're, they're, you know, they're in the same realm of uprights. The typical like I guess end zone then. Yeah, yeah, 10 yard end zone. Uh 10 meter end zone, yep. What's the typical score of the game? Um we have had games our first year uh when our U15 team were state champions. Uh we had games where we were up 36 points. Uh but typically uh the the scoring is more even. Uh so you you'll win uh, you know, 21 to 18, or you win uh, 14 to, to 7, or something like that. What ages are we here today? Uh, today, are, are the ages that we have at this practice today are um, between uh, U, U12, so anywhere from uh, fifth grade up through uh, so, uh, senior year in high school. And as far as a rugby ball, is it, it's not a football? Or it's like a... No, no, a rugby ball is uh, uh, more... Um, it's not as slender as, as a football, uh, so um, it's, it's fatter. It, it's, it's a football's fat cousin, you can say. <laughs> same texture? Huh? Yeah, it's basically the same texture, the same uh, grip, yep. except there's no seams because you can't throw forward. Uh, no, uh, uh, just that uh, we're really excited about our, our girls' team. Um, we're currently looking for uh, ages uh, uh, 10 to 15 for girls. Um, we have a group of girl, uh, core girls now that we, we're really looking to promote into their own team. Um, the co-ed team can play for the U-12s, but uh, once they go past that um, 13 or 14 year age, they, 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 there's, there's not much, um, uh, there's not much co-ed left. But, you want it? Hey, it's Ted. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so a rugby ball is a little bit wider than a, um, a football. Uh, it has no seams. Um, and uh, 
it's it's probably a little bit more pumped up from that, but they uh, <laughs> they go flat pretty quickly, so we, that's why we always have a, 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 a pump here on, on the premises. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, rugby's a lot of fun. It's It'll get into your blood and, and it'll, um, you know, you, you won't be able to get, get, get away from it. All right. Yeah, that's great. Good? Thank you. Thank you. How do I cut that down to 